Hi everybody, it's Gail Annis Forder coming to you from Linden Linthicum United Methodist Church in Clarksville, Maryland. Wanted to think for uh, a few moments today about Amanda Gorman's uh, speech or her poem last week at the inauguration. She is that amazing young woman who read her poem and just kind of wowed everybody with what she did and has since been given job um, opportunities and all kinds of things because of her poetry. I read a little bit about her and I found out that she is a twin and she and her twin were born prematurely and there was real concern about their health when they were born and uh, she has had some issues that came from being premature but has done really really well kind of overcoming those things a, a young woman of strong will and when she was in the third grade her teacher introduced her to poetry which has been kind of her avenue through through a lot of things in her life and we saw that coming to fruition last week. She said so many wonderful things in that poem but the last bit I think is uh, one of the things that got a lot of people's attention. She said, when day comes we step out of the shade, aflame and unafraid, the new dawn blooms as we free it, for there is always light if we are, if only we're brave enough to see it if only we're brave enough to be it. And of course that image of being light is one that's familiar to us as followers of Jesus. Jesus said, you are the light of the world. Uh, he didn't say, I am the light of the world. Well, he said that too, but he said about us, you are the light of the world. He wanted us to let our light shine to make clear God's love and God's forgiveness and God's mercy and God's welcome to everyone. That's what Jesus wanted us to do. And Amanda Gorman reminded us that it takes some courage to do that because we're going to get pushback sometimes. I was also reminded that Amanda Gorman is 22 years old when she gave this amazing reading last week at the inauguration. 22, that's pretty young. And there are people who would probably say, what does she know? She's 22 years old. Um, scripture addresses that, and you may remember that, that that happens. And in 1 Timothy uh, chapter 4, it talks about that a little bit, and I'm reading uh, today from the message, which is a paraphrase, but it says, get the word out, teach all these things, and don't let anyone put you down because you're young. Teach believers with your life, by word, by demeanor, by love, by faith, by integrity. So I think we saw an example of some of that last week with Amanda, Gor when Amanda Gorman when she read that poem that she wrote. So I hope that you'll think about young people that you know in your life and uh, young people is relative, right? It depends on how old you are, who the young people are. But who are the young people that speak a word into your life that God gives a message to to speak into your life I think about uh, the young pastors, some of them that I know, and how I love to be around them and to read what they write because they're teaching me some things that I don't know. There may be some children who speak to you, who teach you some things that you don't know. Who are the people who are younger than you that God uses to teach you? Do not let anyone put you down because you're young. Do not put anybody else down because they're young. Look for the message that God has there to teach you, to lead you to being the kind of light that you're called to be. Let your light shine before others that they may see your good works and give glory to God. Amen.